So you're, no, you're coming from Dota, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long did you play that game? Too long. I've I've been playing MOBAs since 2014. So since 2014, how good were you in Dota, roughly? Uh, I still actively play. Um, I'm currently about the Platinum Equivalent. So the Platinum Equivalent of Dota, what brings you to League? Uh, I got a buddy, and I feel like League requires different fundamentals, and it helps me in Dota. So okay. I like playing them. I like playing them both to work mechanically on both. Okay. So what's your goal with League? Uh, I guess climb as high as I can. I mean, I don't really want to play too much League because I would solo queue it. Except you paid a lot of money for this. Casuals. Yeah, but it is what it is. I, I make a lot of money, so. It's okay, not well, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. That's, yeah. that's you're right, man. Uh, let's yeah. see. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Finish your thought. Yeah. To be completely honest, I don't even really know who you are. I just saw a video of you talking to some dude with a conspiracy that someone was. Uh, stalking his riot account do you ever feel that way him... <laughs> no <laughs> i feel like i might have felt that way once in my life but i don't think i actually believed it you know what i mean like i might have like yeah, raged yeah, yeah. like fucking game but i don't think i ever actually believed it no but that's cool man so do you okay you're playing a lot of seraphine ezreal which ch do you prefer ezreal or seraphine uh so seraphine is I like Seraphine because she's just a lane bully and it feels a lot more how Dota laning is because in Dota laning it's a lot of bullying each other. All right, of course. Uh, I really, really like Aphelios. He's a lot of fun, but people tell me that he's not the best solo queue character, so... What's with the Ezreal games? Uh, honestly, I, I'm just trying out characters right now. You played I him played four Ares. times, so that's why I was like, "Do you like this guy?" Because a lot of people like Ezreal. Yeah. I, I think I think he's fun. Uh, I don't know if he's necessarily great, but what do you mean great? He is great. That's why I'm like, I'm steering the conversation towards him because he is good. Oh, is is yes. he good right now? Okay. Yeah, yeah he's sure. one of my he's one of my go tos uh, for coaching. Um, he's more of a go to yeah. for me than Aphelios and Seraphine. The main reason that I don't like those two champions that much as a coach is because um, they're very passive. They're not great in like a low elo environment, in my opinion. Um, like you've yeah. obviously won with it. So, but I, I don't want you to think just because you won a small sample of games that necessarily means that they're good. Like, of course, there is a both Seraphine and Aphelios are very immobile and they don't think of it like this so every champion has their own like gap closes or lack thereof and can you um well, let me can you see my screen uh yeah so you've got you've got seraphine you've got aphelios which are good scaling picks and and don't get me wrong you could pretty much just turtle up and farm and get big with those champions and probably climb over time i was also coached on seraphine by cupic who's like the number one seraphine player in north america so like i know i know how to play seraphine and i know roughly you know what this champion's about but like Overall, like even he would agree with me that it's not a great pick for low elo and solo queue climbing because mainly because it's a mobile and it doesn't really create anything. You're just kind of like saying, I'm going to go bot lane and we're going to win like 55, 60% of the time because I'm going to farm really well and I'm not going to die. And then when team fights break out, I'm going to scale up and carry. Um, you need to understand that I don't know how much you know about this game coming from Dota, um, but playing bot lane, bot lane is a good role, but it's also balanced off of pro play does that make sense yeah yeah so why that is is essentially bot lane is the 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 role that scales the, the best yes that scales yeah. the best so obviously like seraphine Aphelios scale really well but the thing that you have to realize and, and where my argument comes in is that like in low elo you're going to be dealing with situations where it's not like a competitive game like you're gonna get a champion that should never have 10 kills and they're gonna have 10 kills 
That doesn't, like, when you watch yeah. pro matches, it's not like, look at the Master Yi, he's got 10 kills, look at him go. Like, that doesn't happen. But that's not really yeah. what the game is. The game at higher level is a lot, it's, it's designed in such a way to where you don't, like, the players just don't feed their lanes that often, and if they do, it's kind of tragic, and it's not really what it's about. So, anyways, long story short, Ezreal's got more tools to win lane. He's got more tools to carry a game when he gets a lead. And it's going to be a hell of a lot more interesting coaching than like a Seraphine or an Aphelios, where it's just going to yeah. be like, all right, dude, sit back and don't die. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if like, you like Ezreal, I suggest I'm, we run that. I'm cool with, with uh, either Ezreal or any other standard uh, ADC, because I, I feel like mage ADCs, I, I've kind of, uh, I kind of have an idea of how to play them right okay so. cool well let's talk about let's talk about ezreal i'm gonna share the screen and i'll pick apart the ezreal because i already know what you're fucking up with this guy um because this is a very common I, like i said this champion is very popular and for good reason he's fun and he's my go-to adc like if i were to restart in korea and like climb and i was like okay i want to climb from adc uh you better believe that i would be locking ezreal like every game um because i i truly believe that he's the He's like the go-to, um, like, he's the ADC that doesn't rely on a support. That's what I'll introduce him as. He doesn't rely on a support at all um, because he's self-sufficient. He doesn't need any help peeling. He doesn't need any help farming. He doesn't really need help winning lane necessarily. Um, he's just kind of doing his own thing. Yeah, so I will preempt this i think a lot of the issues i'm gonna have is with the fundamentals like uh wave management um yeah, yeah of course not not necessarily csing because you know i've played mobas for a long time i'm i'm already at like the by the end of lane i'm a, by like 10 minutes in lane i'm at about 100 cs so i'm i'm already at the about 10 cs per minute for lane it's just after lane i have no idea where yeah, to farm perfect. on the map perfect so. well let's let's one step at a time though because i can promise you there's a lot of details to ezreal that oh yeah that yeah, you're gonna definitely. miss um but yeah i'm with you i can i can definitely show you like the framework of how you should be doing this um because you come from a different game right but if you are hitting good yeah. cs um reliably that's good especially with a little time played that's good uh, that's just more of a testament to the crossover of the two games than anything. Not, not to be fair, I don't think I see us very well in this game. That's okay, it's Ezreal. That was what I was going to say. I was like, this is not... It, it's, a, it's a different champion. See, the thing yeah. about Dota is Dota's got some mechanical requirements, but it's not as arcadey as League, right? Like, I've played no, both. No, it's not. Um, so, no, it's not. you're going to be... You're, this, is, this is... like Ezreal is League's ADC, in my opinion. This is like... Yeah. This is League in a nutshell because it's all skill shot based. Um, it's really high tempo. It's really high APM. It's very fun. Um, and there's just a lot of room for expression. And then we can talk about the more advanced stuff with this kit. Now, if you watch this replay right away, and this is what I get on every Ezreal about, is Q and how they use their Q. So... <clears throat> right off the rip, do you see how you're taking this free damage? Yeah. And you're just kind of chilling. I want this from here on out. I want you going into every lane pushing for level two because you asked about fundamentals, right? So when yeah. you went into this lane, one of the things that makes Ezreal strong is this passive. Uh, do you know what his passive does? Did you read it? Not a, not a clue. Isn't it it's fine. attack speed per, per skill Yeah, shot? so... All right. So the key, the thing is, is that Ezreal, there's some, there's some um, barriers to entry with him. The first one is obviously the skill shot element of the champion, right? Kids suck. They fucking miss it. Whatever. Uh, the other element is they don't really understand how to use, utilize the passive really well. And the passive on Ezreal is the bread and butter of Ezreal. The reason it's the bread and butter is because when you're at five stacks, you get uh, an upwards of 50% attack speed. Wait, yeah, 50% sure. attack speed. So the idea is that every single time you land an ability, you keep those stacks up. 
So the reason why I say it's bad for newbies is because yes, they miss abilities, but they also try to throw abilities when it's more beneficial to just hit minions. Everything in bot lane is about getting level two often and trying to momentum through bot lane because in a solo queue environment, bot lane's a lot different than a competitive environment. In a competitive environment, like I told you, Master Yi doesn't go 10 and 0. In a solo queue environment, you're at the mercy of what your teammates are going to do. So like, for example, if you just break even and farm perfectly and your teammates feed, well, that sucks dick for you, buddy. You're not going to get to play the game. You won't have the yeah. XP to offset it. So what you need to understand is that it's usually an ADC's best interest in solo queue to try to win the lane fast and snowball the 2v2 lane so they can offset whatever happens on the top side. Not to mention the fact that Dragon spawns down here too. So your teammates are incentivized to play off of you though because of the dragons. And your teammates, if they know that if they get bot lane ahead, that it doesn't matter what's going on up here. If bot lane's ahead, bot lane wins. You understand? Yeah. So where does this all come into Ezreal in level two? Well, the idea is that when you go into lane, you should always be fighting for level two with most any lane, but specifically with Ezreal because you want to snowball through basically killing your lane opponents but you can't do that if you play passive people think that Ezreal's kind of like default passive and he certainly can be when your support sucks but if you're queuing the wave on repeat see right here how you're just chilling you're not really autoing the minions fast if you were queuing the wave on repeat and autoing this whole time you could do what I call uh commandeer the wave or achieve the push or get offense and offense defense and the idea is that if you're pushing, you're on offense. If they're pushing, you're on defense. Notice right now, the wave is pushing to you. Actually, it's kind of equal right now. No one's really commandeered it completely. Now, enemy team's on offense. You're now on defense. You're going to notice that if it stays this way, that you're going to get pushed under tower, and you're not going to be doing a whole lot. See? Yeah. You're just kind of chilling. Now, you're playing with a friend. I can see that, right? That's who this is, I assume? No. Oh, not this game? Because I I it's knew you were doing well. with somebody. You, like Generally, you were doing with somebody, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, not not for any of my ranked matches. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Just, okay, cool. Well, the point yeah, is, is that it, it depends. Like, if, you're, if you have, like, a duo, you could choose to, like, turtle up or whatever and play for some sort of, like, scale option yeah. if you trust your teammate. But in solo queue, again... That's just not the way to play. So, like, you're kind of just breaking even right now. There's been no aggression. You haven't really landed any poke. You haven't really leveraged anything here. And we're just kind of coin flipping. You see that? Yeah. Now we're at level four. And nothing's really happened. Yeah. So, what I'm going to encourage you to do in, this, in these games is I'm going to encourage you to start pushing for level two right off the rip and understand that when you're talking about fundamentals in this game if i go back to the beginning what you need to do is come into lane with the intent to establish a slow push and then guard the wave so with ezreal it's going to be a little difficult because let me get my epic pen out so what's the difference between a slow push and like shoving okay so Ideally, I don't really know how Dota wave management works, but ideally in League, the way I always frame this up for newer players is, all right, so this is blue side's minion wave represented by health bar, okay? So like, yeah. that's how much health the collective minion wave has, okay? Right now, they have slightly more health than your minion wave. Slightly more health in a minion wave, this is a fast push or i'm sorry not a fast push i spoke a slow push okay? okay this is a slow push why is it a slow push because your minion or the blue team's minions are going to slowly win the war okay okay they're slowly winning the war what does this do for us in wave management terms well you're on defense remember i said offense defense if the enemy team yeah. wasn't fucking stupid and they walked up and autoed you while you were farming, the time that you are spending farming would be used, you would lose health to farm. 
if they would actually yeah. move up. You see how they're sitting back and just allowing you to do what you want? Yeah. They could guard the wave and continue the slow push while harassing you. This and whole they, concept and, is offense. Yeah, and since they have more creeps, we take more passive damage from the minions. Right, so if you choose to battle back, you're n more yeah. likely you're going to lose. And then not only that, yeah. even if you, like, let's say that you win, it's still messy because you could be really, really low on HP with a wave pushing in. And it yeah. gets really awkward because if a jungler shows up or a mid roams and you die, you'll still lose the wave. So it's the idea yeah. that when the team is on offense and they're slow pushing in, you just kind of want to like keep your health as high as you can and farm as safely as you can, which again, this is why Ezreal's really nice because he doesn't really have to ever lose that much farm. He doesn't care if his support sucks dick. He doesn't care if he's on defense the entire game. He's just going to sit back and queue and chill until he has options. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if we are fighting for level two, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because we want to slowly push forward. Now, what is a fast push? Fast push just means you take whatever wave that you can grab. Like, so here, if I said, hey, let's shove this, what I'd be saying to you is I want this wave and this wave under tower okay. as fast as possible. So just get it under so that we can do something, right? So like when you're talking about a fast push, a fast push is usually utilized because you want to base or you want to roam um, or you want to maybe like just tax the enemy and like take a plate or something. That's usually what a fast push is for because you're it, okay. the reason you would slow push. I don't think anybody's ever explained it this way. So I feel like a genius right now as a coach. But like the point is, is that on a slow push, you really want to be using that time to be pressuring somebody. Or to just build a bigger wave so that when you crash it, you have a bigger back timing. But a fast push kind of indicates that, like, you already have a timing to do something. You just want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like one's a delayed event and the other one is a current event. Right, right. Because if you're, if you're slow pushing, again, your opponents are going to have to farm. And the other thing that I didn't even that I didn't even mention was that as you're slow pushing, you're always going to be leveling up before your opponents. If we assume that you've not missed any XP, so like at some point yeah. during this push, you're likely going to hit your level two or your level three or your level four. You see what I'm saying? So like when you are yeah. slow pushing, that's usually the moment where opponents get like your opponents will get baited into a bad trade, and you conversely have to recognize that when you're being pushed into. Your job is to just keep your health high and farm. So that's why when I coach, I frame it up as, okay, you're on offense or you're on defense. Do you understand? Because like, yeah. if you know you're on defense, you know that you need to keep your health high. If you know you're on offense, you know you need to do as much damage as you can and usually slow push. Think of it as like, we have the ball and we want to score, you know, yeah. as many points as we can. So now that I've kind of run this through and we're here, this is kind of where you're at with fundamentals, right? Let's just go into okay. a game and see if we can explore it's establishing a level two. All right. And real quick, before we start anything, um, can you give me a very, very brief rundown on the few items that ADC should really, really focus on? It depends on the champion. If you're talking yeah, like the we'll meta say, changes we'll every time. Ezreal, we'll say we'll say Ezreal for this meta currently. Okay, so Ezreal's just Triforce Mana Moon. Okay. So let me make this easier for you though. Hold on. Because there's a look, coaches bullshit you, okay? I, I like I say, I pride myself on being yeah. no nonsense and teaching the things that really matter. It's not that itemization doesn't matter, it does. The thing is, is until Riot changes the rules of how the game works, data mining is just OP as fuck. And you're going to get such easier and more reliable uh, information on itemization through just trial and effort. So what I recommend is I use Lawlytics. I'm not sponsored by them. I use a bunch of different sites, but they're the best one right now. So I link you them. And you can just look at my screen and I'll show you a quick rundown of like how to get your itemization right. So like okay. all you do, use this site, okay? And all mm. I would recommend, so Ezreal's commonly played. So you would just search your Ezreal, right? So you search your Ezreal and you're like, okay, yeah. 
I want to learn Ezreal. Now, this is where players will make mistakes right away. Is they, I mean, not that this will be bad because this is a, a huge sample. I mean, like half a million games. This champion's insanely popular. One of the most popular champs in the game. So you're going to get, if you just were to itemize and do nothing but this, like either of these builds, you'll be fine. Like really. The only difference here is like Doran's Blade is more if you're all inning. Long Sword is when you're more just like chilling, usually. Doran's Blade is more for just like all ins. But the idea is that like you can take this a step further and this is what i like to do i always filter for korea um because i played here and i just know like mechanically the server's the best yeah. i filter for korea i do platinum plus because platinum plus here is a big sample still and you know mm. that the players that you're you're sourcing are pretty much diamond or higher on any other server because plat plus in yeah. korea is like diamond or higher on any other server in the world except for like China and shit. It just is. They're just better. Mechanically. You know, maybe the macro is all the same, but mechanically yeah, it's, it's they're like, better. It's like Europe and, and Dota. Right. They're they're just, they're playing on really low ping. And again, this is an arcade game. And without yeah. being too racist, Asians and arcade games and low ping, <laughs> I, they fucking kill it. You know what it is? Like, they just kill it. So you've got to make sure usually i'd recommend plat plus and then all you can do is you can go through highest win build or common build and then if you want to like redesign the meta or check out things that are maybe like really secretly good you could start digging through some items that have a decent sample and perform well so like you could clearly see that like dusk blade is doing pretty well and then you could like click that and you could like scroll down and then you could start looking at okay the people that run dust blade like what are they commonly doing if they run dust blade so you could see like yeah. there's a lot of essence, essence reaver, reaver mana moon uh dust mana blade moon. and then it looks like in this it looks like somebody's like skipping boots or something this is what i mean like you could find some strange shit sometimes here's one like you could see when you scroll down so, it's like you could go essence reaver uh ionian boots and then dust blade and you've got pretty good damage, reasonable result, but yeah. the low sample, like only so 200 games. I, I've normally started uh, tier. Is, is that not not the right so, choice? So, all right, I don't start tier, and I would have yelled at you for starting tier. So the reason why, <laughs> the reason why is because yes, there are players that do it, but they don't understand what I just taught you, which is Ezreal's yeah. really strong early, and he can win lane early. And you should just buy tier first back instead of ruining your ability to snowball. If you're a higher elo okay. and you knew that there was just no chance that you were ever going to kill the guy uh, or the lane that you're facing, or it's just like, there's just no point in trying, um, then yeah, you would go tier and just roll your eyes and farm. But anyways, yeah. So okay. when you're talking about itemization like this, this is how you get your own items. I, I mean... I can always yeah, like give yeah, you my input, tons. but like I would never be more effective than just being like, yo, there's a 200,000 game sample, right? Like you yeah. might as well just yeah, fucking I, use I, that. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But now, you, you know, the API scrapes. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. Um, go ahead and share your screen. I will tell you, let's get a couple games in. I will tell you though, that, um, you know, me personally as a lead coach, if I, if if I share the League of Legends, will Either it works. open up the game? Either okay. works. It's full screen or League, it works for me. So, um, I will tell you, though, if in my personal opinion, if they got rid of that scraping stuff altogether and made it so that the APIs couldn't do that, I would actually welcome it. So that when you ask me what items do I think are the best, I actually would have to do my research and tell you. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, there's really no benefit for me to do that. It's just a waste of our time. Okay. Well, while I'm in, while I'm in queue, sure. Uh, I have two questions about just league as a community. Then. Okay. So, why is there no voice chat in this game? Um, because the game was built off of a really, really archaic foundation. Yeah. Um, off, off Warcraft Three. Yeah. Right. So, well, the engine. I mean, I'm talking the client. Yeah. Oh, okay. The client. So Dota, Dota has an up-to-date client. And so Dota has things like coaches you can buy in the client. They could draw on the map and the mini map. Yeah, you can yeah. voice chat. You can uh you know, you can sell you can sell fucking skins and shit. Like you, you you've know, got all I'm sorts of shit. Yeah. Right. So like League's gameplay is so good. The core like gameplay loop is so good that Riot has gotten away with this for so long. Um 
And because I'll be honest, the the main thing keeping me away from League is the fact that there's no voice chat. Because I am like 200 words per sec or 200 words per hour. I can fix that though, I but I can fix that for you though. <laughs> so you just need to learn how to do pings better. I can promise you that if you learn how to ping properly, you don't need voice chat. And right, and to further, quick, who do I? Who should uh, I ban if I'm, if I'm Azrael? Master Yi yeah. and Low Elo. You're in Low Elo still, Master Yi. Always ban this asshole in Loila until you're in like flat or something. Fair enough. He's just he just gets too much value from kills with noobs. You're also playing a champion with no CC, like no CC yourself. So you'll just get yeah. run over and no one will help you. Like it's annoying. Um Okay. And then the other question I have is uh why why is there dodging? Oh, well, you don't want to ask me that question because I think dodging is fucking stupid. Oh, I hate dodging. It's it's the second reason why I hate this game. Okay, so... I'm uh, go it's press the attack. attack, yeah. So you could choose depending on what you bump into for lanes. Um, if you find if you find that it's like a bunch of tanky or champs, you can go conquer as well. Um, either works. Let me see... Yeah, usually so, press I'm the attack is the be... most winningest one. This could be a conquer game though, for sure. Yeah, because to me right now, the bot lane looks like it's probably Senna. It could be Poppy, but I think Poppy's also played. Jungle, Poppy's gonna right? be jungle. Or... Yeah, Poppy's gonna be jungle. Yeah, I think, I think I would actually stay on press the attack. You should have enough damage to offset a lack of conquer between Viego and Lilia. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna look at. And then for your whatever. Yeah, so this is the same whatever thing. Like is, they've you, sourced. You look, you look, oh, that? Like, yeah, I would use magic resist if it's an AP. Like Yeah, yeah, too easy. Do... Yeah, this is too easy. No, no, no. You don't AP here. Because you're facing no? Senna. You're facing Senna and. um. Oh, wait a minute. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, that's fine. I misread the champ select. Because I thought it was like Quinn Senna, and then I was like, yeah, wait, it, what? It's a it's a it's a weird game, man. Yeah, this is a weird it one. It could be a Quinn Senna. It could be Quinn. Look, this is out low elo. It's just is what it is. Alright, so my game's open now, right? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Well okay. yeah, it is now. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, dodging dodging and what Quinn? I hate that character. Yeah, so this is what um, I was thinking it might happen, that it might have been this shit going yeah, on, okay. where it's, yeah, but it's just, it's a flip. Uh, it doesn't kill your lane, your Ezreal, so it doesn't matter. Um, some yeah. lanes would, like, get fucked over, you pick, you pick the wrong runes, though, for sure. Um, yeah. But it's all good. But yeah, I, I hate dodging. I'm negative 3,000% in, sort of, in favor of dodging, and everyone I know who plays this game always makes the argument that dodging's good. No, they're stupid. They don't know. Trust me. Yeah, so um so I this do... is an all in lane. Uh because it's wait, who was the support? It was Senna. It's Alice, Senna. It's Senna when... and Quinn. Yeah, you're going to be all inning Alistar. though because you have an Alistar. He's going to want to yeah. all in. Yeah. So going to get buddy messy. Told, my buddy told me that you stop leashing whenever minions touch. Is uh, I just do, right, I just do like a it... few autos. I just do a few autos. Okay. I mean, it's not, it's, uh, back up a bit because they can invade you from try and it gives me anxiety where you're standing. Go to your left, left bush, because you can't see the bottom, yeah, you can't see below you, below golems. See where golems spawn? Oh. Yeah, 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 right So there. they could technically get around you. I'd rather be standing here because now I can guard both angles and just fall back. So my heart rate was going up. Oh, I'm also a, a drag person, so. Did you say a drag person? No, drag wheel. I, uh, use, I use middle mouse button to move I thought you camera. were saying, like, you do drag, and I was like, I mean, I don't have any problem no. with that, but, like, no, I, it just seems irrelevant I, to the coaching at hand, yeah, you know? I was, I was, I was, I was, that seems a little irrelevant, but. You never know. I mean, it could be a big part of your identity, man, and good for you. <laughs> 
That's good enough. Yeah, so, that's good enough. Good enough. Do you want to queue so into this bush? Here, yeah, you I can. Go? Just queue it. You're Ezreal. You just queue it. That's what I mean when I say self-sufficient. Okay. You can just do whatever you want. As long as you're queuing, queuing things. Right. Now, start by autoing the wave a little bit. All right, you have the slow push. Now, just kind of inch your way forward and try to land some cues. Yep, and if it looks like they have a healthier minion wave than you, you need to auto your minions once or twice. Yeah, they're autoing it, so you need to auto and queue. Look at your stacks. See your stack timer above your passive? Yeah. Keep queuing. Queue the healthier minions so you don't drop your stacks. You're about to turn level two on this melee. I'd walk forward. Walk forward, walk forward. Fight right now, fight right now. Yep, trade like a psycho. Yep, yep, trade. Do not fall back. Trade, 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 trade. Very good. Now fall back. Yep. Use your pot and then continue your slow push and guard. So now you got to be careful with autos here for obvious reasons, but you can still queue. I'm always open to new ideas. New ideas. Keep queuing. You see how you just dropped your stack? You want to be at five stacks at all times. So try to queue either a minion at the last second or an enemy champion. Good. You see how you're keeping two now? Yeah. Yeah. Get ready to queue again. Good. You've kept your stacks. And you can try to inch forward to find a Q on an enemy champion too. So you drop them because you targeted a low health minion. So you always want to yeah. like, yeah. Oh, this is good. That's a really good trade by Alistar. It's a really good trade. Good. Now no, you see... No, 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 no. You can stay up. You got biscuits. You want to wait for the last second to use biscuits because it's based on missing health. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and keep shoving, because if they establish offense, you're going to be stuck under tower, and then you're going to wish we backed. And if you have nothing to do, you could queue the wave. There you go. Just to build up some attack speed. Because again, the minute that they get the wave at their back, you're going to be stuck under tower. All right, it's getting a little spooky now. So we lost this trade, so I would just fall back. Now you're going to play some defense. Save your biscuits okay. here. Okay, he just... All right, now... I, I, this is awkward because he just used DMAT on the cannon. So let's just keep pushing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Try to establish the push. Because he just flipped the lane with his uh, item, the Alistar. That's why he got rid of the yeah. cannon right away. So we kind of have to... Now slow it down and guard. Yeah, okay. try to land a Q. Try to land a Q. Yeah, follow this up. Yep. Yep, you're fine. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Remember, you have the wave at your back. Keep autoing. Don't back down from autos. And if you don't know what to auto, auto a healthier minion. Like if you don't want to drop farm. That's what I tell people. Just get the wave under. He's dead there. Yeah, get the wave under. And just E away. E away. You should be fine because you have biscuits. Yep. If they flash, you flash. But otherwise, we're just going to recall. But you see how you've got the wave under? So now it's like in a weird spot for yeah. them where they're low. Like I told you, they're low. But now they feel like they have to push. So if you build your tier and you build towards Triforce right now, yeah, go ahead and build the tier. Perfect. That was a quick buy. Good job. Now, see how... Wow. Oh. Tell her not to <laughs> ping that off. Did she just shove your wave? Fuck. Yeah. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. She did it quick enough, I think. That's yeah, fine. So now you just think, all right, what's the wave going to do? So it's going to meet in the middle. And that means I would, again, establish a slow push and then just slow push and guard, just like I did at the beginning. So the wave is equal yeah. HP. It's slightly on their side, right? So now I want to go up there and start queuing the wave a little bit and trimming it and then establish that push. And then I want to walk up and guard. Okay. Oh, wow. Never mind. It's not a slow push when he does that, though. <laughs> so now we just... You could just shove, to be honest, and harass him under tower. See how they got to eat the wave. So now we can just queue them. Yeah. Queue the wave. If you think you're going to miss them, just queue the wave. Yep. Don't be afraid to auto. You can auto minions and you can auto the wave here. Yep, good. Auto minions if you can't auto them. Yep, auto minions right now. There you go. Good. That's good. Keep autoing. Because you want to. Because they're fighting your push, right? You want to keep them on the back foot. Yeah. And keep queuing. Good. That was good. And you can, yeah, you can throw in some autos. Keep kiting, though. You were doing the right thing, kiting back. Now, you've got the slow push. 
So now you don't have to touch the wave anymore. You could just guard it. This is what I was trying to teach you. So walk up and threaten a Q. Threaten a Q. Threaten and engage. Okay. You don't have to do it. You have your E. You can always fall back. And if you think you can hit them with the Q and preserve your stacks, go... Okay, now just E back. Yep. Now just keep queuing. Keep queuing. That was good. Yeah. And then, uh... This is what I mean when I say Ezreal's self-sufficient. Your flash was too quick, though. There was no need to flash yet. Good. I don't want to push anymore, by the way. You just used your flash. Yeah. You traded out at least. So I'm kind of glad that that happened to you, though. So you could see, like, did you notice how as soon as I said I don't want you to push, you got ganked? Yeah. That's because you were on defense, technically, because they had ganked you. And you were too close to the wave, which I'm going to cover in the VOD before the next game. I'll show you that. Okay. At like 7, I'll write it down. At like 7.30. All right. Yeah, I, I always find that to be hard to understand because in like Dota, you can near your tower is fine because there's like teleport scrolls. Right, so right, right. In Dota, in, in uh, League, there the only teleport you get is from just right, you know, right, 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 right. The thing. What? Uh, slow Somebody push. Slow something. push. Slow, 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 slow. Very slow. Very slow. Ping him off. He goes yeah. hit the wave. Okay, he's, he's, yeah, he's doing a slow push. He gets it. If he's autoing at the very last second, that means, okay, that's kind of a fast push. And if he does that, I would usually ping him off once. Yeah, so you, our, uh, our jungle's doing dragon. Should we go? Or? You're going to hard shove this wave with ult. So, no, 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 no. Hard shove the wave. Get in front of the wave and ult the whole thing. Hard push, yep. Jam your Q. Yep. Keep autoing. You can mix an E in, but it's a little risky if you get caught. Well, now rotate. Now rotate confidently with the intent to fuck people up because they're missing a wave yeah. right now. So if you win this, they're really fucked. You understand? So go ahead and Q. Yeah, poke a little bit, tease it a bit because you don't want them going back to that wave. There you go. That's fine. That's good. See, that whole time they were missing XP and gold if they left the wave. Yeah. Careful, careful. Remember, you're on defense right now, technically. Nice. I think you at least trade it. Oh, damn. Oh, no. It's my bad, too, because I should be telling you to back down faster. Because, again, when that wave is under tower like that, and it's building up, like their wave is building up, you see how we're dead and yeah. we're going to lose access to this? That's because we died on defense, basically. Yeah. When you leave the base in spots like these, make sure you're checking the map. Like here, you didn't miss anything, but like I would check mid. Like if my mid laner's dead, I could catch mid wave or something to make up for the fact that I had to rotate back here. Yeah. So is mid lane faster to walk to than bottom lane? Or? Slightly, yeah. This is a slow push and chill vibe. No yeah. Psalms. Oh, never mind. oh my fucking god. This guy is making this a weird coaching session. I've never seen a, a support do this on Canon every time. This is very strange. <laughs> Alright, well, so go ahead. And, one he has, right? yeah, 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 that's it. Let's hard shove. Hard shove. You don't want to get stuck here. This spot's whack without any Psalms, and our jungler is like I don't know, she's like in Dragon Pit or something, so you just want to shove. Yeah, just E backwards. Just E backwards. Yep. She should not even be able to touch you. You would just E back and then Q. You can touch the brush and ult them. That's what I do here. Uh, yeah, well, in a straight line. Popped, yeah, don't even think about it. Just fling it. Good. You hit the wave too. Go push it. Go try to shove with Qs. Well, well, Poppy's no, no, don't worry right about here. that. Just Q from max range. Q. You don't have to auto. Yep. Just fall back. Yep. Fall back. And then Q her and just keep walking. Good. As long as you know where she's coming from and the timing, you should have been fine. That was my logic. Yeah. This is good.
Yeah, just keep on auto and queue. It should be free. Now back to lane. Don't chase that deep. Check the wave yeah. state. Ask yourself, like, yo, what's the wave look like? Uh, would I push this? Quinn gets back to lane pretty quick. I think I would... No, no, no. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. This last hit. The very last second. Because Quinn gets back to lane fast no matter what you do here. You understand? So shoving doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Just build a wave. And then that way you can uh, pick and choose a different timing. Now I just recall. They're back? Yep. Yeah. Uh, sell the Dorn's Blade here. Triforce Spike is worth it. Usually in this game, items is everything. So whenever you have an item spike, um, you normally would want to sell the, the Doran's item. Yeah. Should I eat to yes. lane? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you should be queuing the golems as you walk by them too. To your stacks. Let's try. Golems have best mechanics in the game, so. Now slow push from here. Slow, slow, slow. No reason to shove. Yeah. You don't know where anybody is. Careful of these bushes. You're like face checking bushes like a madman. No, you would just queue it and not stand near it like you were. Well, I am a madman, so. <laughs> now in the next wave, you'd hard shove and then maybe like touch the brush. Touch the brush and ult them. Yeah, touch the brush and ult them right away and start hard shoving. Yep. You could, uh, you could probably play this. Yeah, there you go. Okay, sidestep it. Oh, wow, this is a shitty gank timing. Keep autoing and queuing. Just keep moving and autoing. Don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. Just keep autoing. You never know. You might be able to flip it sometimes because you have an item. Yeah, I think if you had better management of autos there, I think you would have killed. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's that right there is why item spikes for everything. Like, hold tap. Look at how strong the Ari is. She had an item and Quinn had an item and we still held up because we had a big wave and we were, like, battling. Yeah. Now... I know that they lose mid tower for this, but I don't know if that's worth it for us. That is. Right. It's well for our agency in the match. It isn't, but for the game yeah. overall, like it, like it, it's good because mid tower is more valuable than outer towers. Outer towers yeah. don't really mean that much. That, that's the same thing in Dota. That, that's the only reason why I say that. Um, so in Dota, I don't, I don't know if it's just how the game is or if it's just the community, but it seems like a lot more people are like you're reliant more on a team keep curing keep curing because your Q lowers your um cd on your alt and we might have to fight again uh we could just we could back down and just recall for boots for tier twos. We want to back down at this point. You could shove too, but I knew they were going to shove. That was the premise. Because you'd have a window here where if you based, you would just walk up a oh, tier okay. two boots. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, yeah, it's not like super important. It's just something that I was thinking about because I knew that they had the prio because your mid laner was dead. So you didn't feel comfortable moving, right? Yeah. Keep queuing golems while you wait. You can't leave the wave like that though. You can't that that wave has to be pushed or something because it's gonna you're gonna miss too much. Now in this next wave, what I would do, I'd be a little afraid of Quinn showing up. Actually, save your ult. Keep pushing, keep pushing, but save your yeah. ult. I think Quinn shows up a lot, so we're gonna fight her in the in the. Oh no, she's. Oh yeah, she's coming. Run, 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 run. They're coming for you. Run, run, run. Cause they just took dragon. Yeah. Maybe they're going to. Your... Okay, if they're going to your team. All right, Quinn's in river. Now just uh, recall in the bush. Actually, no, you can take tower. Look at that. Yeah. Keep queuing the wave. Perfect. Usually, what I tell Ezreal is like. 
you auto if you're going to lose the minion, but mostly you just Q. Yeah, I would pretty much just in for the tower here. Keep queuing to keep your um your Triforce procs. Yep. Now back up and just take a recall. Alright, fight it out. Fight it out. She's gonna fight you. Oh. Nah, she ain't gonna find me. Wow. <laughs> I I just can't imagine. I can't imagine being so bad at the video game that you've got one million move <laughs> speed as Quinn, and you can't check that bush in time. Like, that's just crazy. You know, gamers get a game, you know? Dude, I mean? that's fucking wild. Now, this so stage... When am I split yeah, so I need to have you start grouping now. So hard shove. And use your Q. Look for ults as you're pushing. No, 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 you're not done. You're not done. You gotta get the next wave. You, you, you keep trying to leave the wave like this. Shove one more and then group. I know you're wondering when to group, but usually when you're behind, it's better to be selfish and get your XP for a bit for grouping because just how people the the nature of players they like grief their leads now you could group okay so like i guess for q me golems, q golems are stacking tier yeah for me it seems like that is dangerous like right there we can talk about it after now you could ult okay. here ult them from over the wall and then start queuing the wave yep the reason why you just burn ults as Ezreal is because your Q lowers the ult CD. Okay. So like right here, I would just start queuing. And you have Alistar behind you, so I'd be very, very confident. And sh shoving, yeah, shoving with the intent to... To outplay motherfuckers. Alright, Quinn's bottom, so I'd run to top. I'd run to top and gank the Mordekaiser. Yep, ping on the way. You know how to ping on the way? This is your- yeah. Yeah, there's none of that in Dota. Right. Now you just go back to mid. You can go back to mid. We were I'll just walking there in case this team rota rotated. Too easy. Just keep jamming Qs. Cool. That's what you want. Now hold tab. Think, all right, what's the next objective? You wanted to learn how to play mid game. So yeah, you want to so try to take- you want to try right? to take Rift. So it's this ping mid. Or, I mean, sorry, assist ping rift and then shove mid. What, yeah. That? Yep. So hold alt on the minimap and drag it down to assist ping. So, like, when I you're, hope. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. one's assist? This That's one? what, yep. Yeah. That's why I said drag down, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I normally save Q for the cannon so that doesn't happen. Okay, um, we can't get the rift because nobody rotated fast enough, so just recall. But the idea was that if okay. our team pushed for it right away, we could maybe have rushed it down, but Baron's spawning. Yeah, get your mana moon. So, so what, what boot would you go in this it's game? It's usually lucidity uh, boots. Um, this game, hold tab. Uh, you could go Merc Treads, actually. You could go Merc Treads, yeah, you could go close. Lucidity. Either of those are fine by me. I don't think Tabbies make a lot of sense here, to be honest, but I think Merc Treads are pretty good here. Just in case you get locked should up. We go for this guy, yeah, or? yeah. Well, his ult will put you in the sunken place, so yeah, just be yeah, careful. Yeah. He's right there. You've got an RA. Be make sure you're not tunneling too hard. RA might try to pick you. Yeah. Should be pretty free. Keep queuing. Just keep autoing and queuing. Don't panic. Just keep autoing and queuing. You can always E away. Keep queuing behind you. So let's talk about how you played that. So when you're autoing and queuing, do not E into people anymore. E away from them and keep distance. Okay. Because what you did was you, you saw people are low and you felt like you had to just jam your buttons at them. Don't do that. You always, as Ezreal, your goal, and as ADC in general, because you wanted to know about traditional ADCs, your responsibility is to always live. Okay? Always live. Yeah. Grab, um, Merc Treads here, in my opinion. 
Those are steel caps. Undo that. Merc treads are the one, the blue ones. Yeah. This one. Yep. Okay. The reason why, if you hold tab, I'll show you why. So we should, we should yeah. This, so right? you could you could fling your ult at the, at that at any moment here. Just try to get your camera on it first. If you could see the actual health of the dragon. Yeah, it's too early. But that's okay though, because you probably weren't gonna get it anyways. You could Q. You could stack up your. You could stack up your uh, Qs right now. Your passive. Don't tunnel on this. The wave's crashing in. Viewer. Now, they might try to go for Baron soon. So we just need vision. So just kind of Q as you inch forward. Q bushes as you go towards Baron. There you go. They could be on Baron. The, the map's been dark. Keep inching towards it. Okay, never mind. They're not on it. They're not on it. So we'll just go to... We'll go to... Uh, oh, wow. You could, you could fight this guy sometimes. All right, back up, back up, back up, back up. Q. And just think about the walls you would hop over if you get collapsed on. That's what I tell people. Yeah, I don't know which walls I can jump over. All, but... Pretty much all of them with Ezreal. Yeah. Except like the Fair ultra enough. thick walls. We need to get back to mid though. We're lingering too long. That's the thing about League. You can't linger on plays for too long. Either if there's a fight happening or we're running back to mid. Yeah, I would just at this point with how split you guys are, I would just shove mid. I would E towards mid and then I would ult it and then I would just shove. Yeah, ult it. So we're keeping... We're alt it, alt it. I, yeah, just alt it. Trust me. Okay. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Trust. Push one more. Move your camera as you do this. Your team was just too split. And like, there was just no way that you guys were ever going to win that fight. So you're going to try to take a tower with it. Keep queuing. Yep. Now you're juggling the information on the map. There's four top. So just keep pushing. Yep. One more wave. Nah, I would give it up. So back down, back down, back down. E over the wall, maybe recall. Yep. Uh oh. That was my fault. You know, yeah, that, that was happens. my fault. You might as well just take blue and grab here because they're doing Baron. Yeah, just take blue. Use your E, use your Q, be quick about this. This is all a race. Yep. And then kite over to Gromp. down below Gromp. Yep, kite down to the bush below you. And then get in the bush below you and then recall. And vote no, by the way. Your team will vote you off the island. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't want to be voted off. Yeah, no one wants to be voted off the island. So usually next item is uh, Tiamat into Ravenous, which I agree with here. So you want to get Tiamat. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. So the reason why we like Tiamat a lot as Ezreal is because it builds into Ravenous. Ezreal doesn't die very much, so we get our stacks up. Build the longsword too. And the other thing is you're going to have wave clear out the ass with Ravenous. Cool. What I would do is I'd run up to bottom and I would start queuing the wave and trying to trim it out. Any wave that's near our base, I would feel like I have to deal with it. Once you get to okay. Ravenous, your ability to, like, delay games is insane. Because you can just, like, just basically walk forward and cue the wave as soon as you see it and then kite back. Auto kite back. Never tank the wave. There you go. Perfect. Try to always keep yourself at your max auto and cue range. Because you're kind of on melee right now. And then you can farm. Oh, okay. So we got to rotate to mid. So we're just going to show up. Get get in line with your team, though. Flanking as an ADC is never good. You want to always front to back as a rule. Okay? Okay. Now, cue the wave right away. If you can't hit them, you need to cue minions right away. Because you need to be clearing the wave. That's your job. That's part of your job. Ult that shit. Ult that shit. Yeah, walk forward and start landing some cues. On the wave. 
Don't die though. We gotta we gotta play our life. Yeah. Cause if you die, we could lose to Baron Push. Yeah, just keep queuing and falling back. There you go. Back to wave. Back to wave. We don't want to chase too deep. Cause we gotta push this right. out. Yeah, we gotta push try, this out. No, no, push this out first. Trust what me. About, You're not gonna. I, I know. Okay. I know. I know. Just yeah. trust me. Because if you, you're not gonna save that tower that he's taking. You're, you're just not. Now recall right now. Just let me recall. You're not gonna stop him from taking that tower. You can duel him. Well, you can't duel him because he can ult you. Uh, yeah. just eat the biscuits. Like eat them both, and then just Q Mord from safety. Do not let him ult you. Just Q him from range. Yep. Just keep queuing him. He can't kill you unless he breaks the plane. You're fine. You, you don't have to run from him. Now ult the wave. Ult the wave and keep queuing it. Yep. Um, be aware he could kill your teammate in the sunken place. Yeah. Yep, keep queuing. Cool. EQ. Okay, it works. Surprised to give you that Q hitbox. Keep pushing forward. Run forward in a straight line. Run forward. Don't run backwards. It's one cannon. Okay. Fiora's got the wave. So we're just going to push this. And then recall again because you got ravenous. Recall. Okay. And then um, next item versus this comp. I think I would just go grudge. Grudge is usually what I build. Um, eat the last biscuit and get some long swords. You can't leave base right now with this much gold. It's just too much gold. What's grudge? It's that right there. This? Yep. Okay. Basically move speed slow on uh, Qs now once you get it finished. And now I would ult if there's a wave going under tower, I would ult it. Or them, that works too. Now just Q, don't E4. Just Q and auto them. Q confidently auto. You don't have to run. Auto. Q. And save your E if they turn on you while queuing. Yes. There you go. Now you can start like, yes. Now E back if you can. So that oh. Poppy made a really good play on you. Basically, it was because you got near the wall and she played the bush well. Yeah. She's a very, very good uh, character for mobility champs. So, like, if you... if And she punishes, like, not paying attention to walls. So, like, I saw her go in the bush, but I didn't think she was actually paying attention to you. That was a good play. Okay. I still think it's a winnable game. Every game is winnable until the ancient falls. Yeah, man. Ult this whole ult this uh, mid right away when you spawn. Ult it and go clear it with Qs. Yep. Keep autoing as you move in Q towards Mord. Like move towards Mord to defend while you Q. Yeah. There you go. See how you you keep fighting in melee range? Like you should just be farming that. As oh, he got canceled. Hey. Okay. Yep. Don't eat in quite so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay there, but just in general. Yeah, you're fine. Wiggle. Okay. Wiggle, auto, auto, auto. He goes bottom, so we just go ahead and clear this wave. Even if they take all our inhibs, we do have really good wave clear of this champ, so... It's not that big a deal. It's just if they get too big of waves on us, we might not be able to clear them. Go to mid. Yeah. You're just inhaling farm right now. Uh, ult the wave. Like, ult down the line. Down the line next time, like, towards the next wave. Because you're going to be yeah. dealing with another wave. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk forward. Walk forward. There's two dead. I would push. Assist ping this push. You want to deal with this wave? Because it's it's chores. The chores are coming. We're going to have to deal with them at some point. You understand? So we, we might as well just yeah. fucking do it now. Just keep queuing. Don't go over the wave. If you die beyond this wave, you lose the whole game. Just so you know. They'll push an end. Careful, you're going to get flanked because you're not trusting me. Back up. Back up. If you if you guys yeah, die yeah. right now, you lose the game. Big wave. If you die, they commandeer a big wave. Yeah. Just E. E towards home because you can keep queuing. Yeah. Keep queuing. Yeah, there you go. Fling your ult. Fling your ult. 
and then just keep queuing and backing up. Yep. Keep queuing and backing up. You gotta hit minions too. You don't... The fight is just bonus. Do you understand? You're fine. Okay. Keep queuing the wave. Keep queuing the wave. The fight is bonus. I promise. Back up. You e e back. Don't give him anything. Now, Q, you could turn that. You could turn that. Now, back up again. Back up again. That's good. That's good. Just stay alive. You see how? Because you're alive, we're not losing, right? Go home and try to buy what you can. Yeah. Go home and buy what you can, quick. Towards grudge. Good. So get your... Yeah, build exactly... Whatever you can, and... Yeah, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, you can wait for the... You can wait for the last whisper. Wait for the last whisper. And the fountain. Go back to the fountain real quick. And then you can just ult them on Baron. Because they're on Baron right now. And then buy last whisper. Crazy if you steal it. Oh, that would have been so crazy if you steal it. Yeah. Close. Now you just have to survive Baron. If you had more experience of this character, you would have fucking aced them just now. In that fight. Yeah. So. Keep jamming Q. I think. I yeah, something that is definitely different about Dota is uh, Dota is an old man game, so there's right, not right. as much APM required. <laughs> right, right. Cheat your nose for it and clear this wave because, again, the chores are coming, right? If they're not on the wave, I want to do the chores quick. And then ult it right away. Don't waste any time. All right, fuck these kids. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> it, it, it's, I'm annoyed that they surrendered because it's playable, but if we were better at this character and had more experience you'd win anyways you would have won before yeah that's fine you learned what you needed to learn anyways in this sequence anyways we ran a little long today but i figured this was a good session you asked some really good questions i appreciate that um keep keep working on this and what we talked about and remember that yeah. it's all about the offense defense on like in all those little details with adc boils down to like how you manage your level two so i really want you to like take a break when you get a chance watch the vod back and those situations that came up and it'll it'll hopefully click a bit more and you'll be like oh okay this is like making sense and you can start leveraging it if you could also find like on youtube that i have some games where i was like stomping with ezreal you can kind of see those like fundamentals because i follow them very very tightly myself yeah all right. All right, man. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you had fun. I know you'd never heard of me before this, but uh, hopefully you you yeah. learned something. Yeah, it was it was a uh, it was a good time. It, uh, I'm definitely gonna play League more. It's it's fun. Um, good. I still, I still think I prefer Dota a little bit more, but I think it's just because I have seven thousand hours on Dota compared to like yeah. This isn't, on but you're you've got a good start point. I promise. This isn't that bad. I know that you think that you need to like join every fight right now, but that's just because you don't yeah. know that you need to do the task that I'm telling you faster first, and then you unlock the fights. That's the key distinction. Yeah. That's why I make yeah, players. That's why I make players with me focus on this thing because if they can do the 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 clearing the wave, like when all those fighting's going on, you need to get to a point where you're clearing the wave while dealing damage. Players do it in reverse. They clear, they they deal damage, and then they don't clear the wave, and then they die, they lose the game. But the way that I'm teaching you, you're still alive as the fight ends, but you've managed the wave, so now you can clutch out. Yeah. But as you get better, you'll win the fights while clearing. You're not technically supposed to be able to win the fight when a barren wave is crashing, by the way. That's why it's fundamentally wrong for you to be fighting. That's why I'm having you pull back. Because you're yeah. going to have idiots in the comments see me have you pull back and be like, Oh, this guy's just not letting him fight. He's just so stupid. No, dude. You, you're not supposed to beat a Baron push. You're supposed to survive versus a Baron push. Do you understand? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, um, I, any, I, uh, well, any questions that come up, ask me. I got to go for a run. And uh, yeah, man. Thanks for the support. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Peace, brother. All right, guys. What did you think? <clears throat> what did you think of our Dota friend? Uh, hopefully, you guys learned some stuff about ADC. I feel like he asked some good questions. I hope this was helpful. As always, you should hit your like buttons and your share buttons, or you pick puppies. You think the kitten should die. You suck. Goodbye, everybody. Peace.